Use the revamped player builder to create a my player that suits your skill set. So you can play to your strengths and get the most out of the updated badge system. So a new player builder that's kind of revamped and an updated badge system. That's some pretty good information right there. Now, that is for last gen, just in case you guys are wondering, that is not for the next gen news yet. Joe Nose tweeted out and said, what's the most important thing you need to see in the 2K24 builder for it to be considered a quote unquote success in your opinion now i'm doing my first nba 2k24 giveaway of the year to enter all you guys got to do is let me know what is your favorite 2k my player builder of all times the 2k16 2k20 and then drop a like that's all you got to do if you win the giveaway i'm gonna hit you up and just ask for proof that you like the video okay that's it that's all you got to do but let me know what you guys think i said under under his tweet hmm where to begin every attribute mattering for example if 45 standing dunk or whatever is op for guards it has to go speed with ball mattering more etc knowing at least a decent amount about your opponent's build from the name stop tying attributes together this is tied to the builder why are we having for example michael jordan dribble style which is the best dribble style this year be the best one and you only have to unlock it at a 75 speed ball doesn't make any sense right doesn't make any sense guys 99 dunks should give you the best dunk packages slash contacts of course that's like something that we shouldn't even have to ask or say 99 ball handles shouldn't give you unique moves that break ankles more and stuff basically i'm saying there's no reason to stop giving animations why stop giving dribble moves slash contacts at like 92 reward people for putting that expensive attribute all the way up so as you guys know if you've watched any next gen 2k23 or you have it yourself you guys let me know what you're playing in the comment section down below for 2k24 Are you playing last gen or current gen and yes 2k still calls it current gen and next gen so i'm probably going to keep saying that for the rest of the year to not confuse people but you guys let me know what you're going to be playing for nba 2k24 but what i'm trying to say is on 2k23 when you have a 99 three-pointer or 99 ball handle somewhere up really close those attributes are extremely expensive now if you go like 92 or 89 ball handle stuff like that it's a lot cheaper than going up to a 95 or 99 so why would we stop giving attributes at a 92 like i think the last contact dunk package is at a 92 reward people for going up and making something that has a 99 driving dunk now of course they do with hall of fame post riser and stuff like that but it just makes sense why would the number one best dribble style this year that almost every 2k player uses because that's really one of the only good ones be unlocked at a 75 speed with ball and you guys know speed with ball which we've talked about many times on this channel has been tested that acceleration is better when running with the ball imagine that your speed with ball is not the most important stat for having speed with the ball like it does not make a lot of sense then back in the day like 2k19 gameplay that you see right here you were able to every single time almost you went up against someone you knew what they were doing you knew that they were a sharp shooting playmaker okay so they don't have necessarily as good dribble moves as a playmaking sharpshooter right so if you played a playmaking sharpshooter yeah they had better dribbling than sharpshooting if you played a slashing shot creator you know that their play style they're probably going to try to slash a lot then when they start hitting a few shots they're going to be in the middies hitting fadeaway middies you know because one of my favorite builds was my shot creating slasher in 2k19 but you guys see what i'm saying there's a lot of things that have been taken out of the game like leaderboards for example that makes no sense why they're gone like literally no sense why is leaderboards gone i used to be able to see my rank not only in my affiliation but all across 2k across all the affiliations there was two different ranks if you guys uh don't know or you forgot like if you didn't play the old 2ks anyway solo said i hope that in 2k24 there's a change to either the quick drops off one dunk package or the limitless takeoff badge because it was way too op in 2k23 now this is what joe knows i'm trying to get auction guys you know i got you bro i'm trying to give you all the information as fast as possible this is what joe knows mainly talked about in his video the gameplay goes with the builder 2k18 and 2k19 had very similar builders yet no one ever says they want the 2k18 builder back because it didn't necessarily go with the gameplay you see what i'm saying so what he's talking about is like why would you get quick drops at an 80 driving dunk that's the best dunk package you only need quick drops as you guys know you only need them now of course if you're playing bad people and you can just stand under the rim and you know protect the paint quick drop quick drops aren't bad right i see some people say that quick drops aren't bad guys it's actually insane but if you're playing someone that has a brain 
quick drops are insane you know what i'm saying you should not unlock that at 80 drive dunk maybe it shouldn't even be in the game because i can't really think of a lot of other dunk packages that silver limitless takeoff makes the game like game breaking or something like that like gold uh silver limits take off you do get the mj dunk but you have to go up to like what 90 something uh driving dunk to get that like that makes a little bit more sense 80 driving dunk is crazy to get a a, a dunk that you sit there and you go, oh, I don't even really need any other dunks. And that's kind of what makes the builder OP in a way. And all the stats, like standing dunk, how I said 45 standing dunk makes it too OP. Because if you're a guard, you can just have a 45 standing dunk and standing dunk on people all day. Anyway, Power went and he said, I'm surprised nobody from the early play session dropped the scoop if adrenaline or stamina is still the same from 23. Since they didn't say anything, I think maybe they didn't change anything for 24. That's the first thing I feel like we would have heard. Now... I don't know, man. As you guys know, Duke Dennis played the game early. I didn't see a lot of other creators there. Like, I think iPod King Carter may have went to that event because he did post a picture on Twitter, but he hasn't said anything about it besides that, I believe. But I don't know if Adrenaline's back in the game or not. And I'm going to tell you guys right now that I highly believe 2K releases these screenshots themselves. Like, I think we're going to talk about it more in the next video. I'll get into it. But I really think that they do it themselves. I don't know. Anyway, Solo said, I hope Duke Dennis gave Mike Wing some good advice on 2K24 when he tested it. I think pre-launch, Mike Wing is genuinely trying to take feedback from others and make positive change. So a creator hit me up today and said that he believes that a lot of people that talked bad about 2K this year, you know how I'm just honest, guys. My, my soul is not locked up in Ronnie 2K's basement. And I'm really glad that you guys appreciate that as well because I sleep better at night knowing I did the best I can to give my opinion to make the game I love better or try to make it better. But what I'm saying is he thinks that some of those people are going to go to community day. And you guys know I've never been invited to community day ever. I had a logo in 2K21 for a few months. It was taken from me. Of course, you guys know why. Talking out, speaking out about the game. If 2K does that, that is a huge jump. I mean, a gigantic difference from, you know, how they've acted in the past. So we'll see. I really don't think that I've said mean things towards any 2K employees or I've gave constructive criticism. I haven't said F you, Ronnie, or anything like that, which I believe 2K should be able to take. Like FaZe Jev was invited out to uh, test Call of Duty a few years ago and he talks crap about the game. But I think that he wasn't invited to the next game. I don't know. You guys see what I'm saying. Anyway, into the next one. If you guys didn't see... 2K on uh, YouTube posted a Jetpack 2K24. That was the title for their video, Jetpack 2K24. It was Josh Giddy saying that, you know, 2K24 has crossplay. If you guys haven't seen that by now, you're living under a rock. They have said it a million times. But the title was Jetpack NBA 2K23. Of course, Josh Giddy was on a Jetpack. So Jetpack, for you guys that care, will most likely be in 2K24. But once again... Just like we've talked about so many times, if they bring back things, they have to do them correctly. The jetpack was, again, not done correctly. And that's something that we went into multiple times, like how you can't take it really into the stage, you can't play with it, things like that. It's just the little things that 2K just kind of seems to forget about. And then people go, oh, what are you talking about? You guys got exactly what you wanted. Now you're complaining. Like, that's like crossplay not working for the first month. And people being like, you got what you wanted. And now you're complaining. Like, yeah, we got crossplay, but it doesn't work. It needs to work. Now, 2K, that's up to them to make their servers good. But we can't make excuses and be like, oh, the game doesn't need crossplay because 2K won't fix their servers. They need to do both. They need to fix the servers and give us crossplay. They are a multi-billion dollar company. They make multi-billion dollars off just 2K. They are uh, like they're the, they're owned by the people that make Rockstar and stuff like that. They're like the biggest gaming company in the world, Rockstar. Okay, we need to demand more. We have high expectations for a game that makes billions of dollars that we spend lots of money on. And once again, by the way, guys, like I say all the time, make sure you tell people this that don't hear it, but. Do not buy NBA 2K24 because of me, because in my videos, buy the game at your own risk. My game, my soul was not locked up in running 2K's basement. I do not owe 2K anything. They've never paid me a dollar. So buy the game at your own risk. Because I see people like, oh, here comes Badge Plug hyping up the game again. Like, I'm giving you the news. Yes, sometimes I'm excited because this is my job because I've played 2K. Even if it wasn't my job, I'd still play 2K. Doesn't mean I'm trying to get you to buy the game or hyping it up at all. Buy the game. 
at your own risk, okay? Anyway, Double H went to Twitter and he said, what at NBA 2K20 or 2K should really do now is completely disband the current affiliations and make it PlayStation versus Xbox. Now that would be a fun rivalry if they did it right with their own parks, icons, and events. So I'm really, really excited to see what 2K has planned for crossplay are we gonna be in affiliations again and you're side by side with someone and it has their logo on it like xbox or playstation is it gonna be like their own affiliations like you go to the playstation affiliation you know that would be really cool bro go into the playstation affiliation to beat them or if you're a playstation xbox player you know go into the xbox affiliation to play them maybe you get like more level over there or something i don't know that would be really cool man like that would be really cool and also if they bring up back affiliations, another thing that they didn't do correctly for the people that just always think 2K, when we ask for something and 2K puts it in the game, oh, that's it. They did it correctly. Like, no, just because they add something in the game doesn't mean they executed it correctly that we asked for. Is Back in the day, bro, when you went to an affiliation, you would literally get a boost. You would get like a playmaking boost. I think it was, no, it was shooting for sunset. Like play, uh, it was slashing for uh, uh, for rivet, things like that. I might be wrong. Okay, I might be wrong with that. But you see what I'm saying? There was boost that you would get for joining affiliation. So you'd, you'd get a little bit more ball handle if you were in sunset. You'd get a little bit more shooting if you were in old town. You know, stuff like that. Just for example, that's gotta come back if affiliations don't come back. Now, for those of you that are wanting all this 2K24 news, you know, I'm giving you guys as much as that is out there, right? This is what it looked like last year. So August 31st, special guest. September 5th was the Jordan Challenge. And September 1st, we got the my, some my career news. September 6th, player ratings. Uh, September 2nd, you know, they showed us the GOAT boat, things like that. So the really really big stuff like what the city looks like what the builder looks like we're not gonna see the exact builder and stuff until later on in the year we will get small information until then and that's what my videos are some people i know most people understand but that's what my videos are you know some videos are 100 percent real news some are a concept like the thumbnail is a concept of what the builder could look like while we're talking about build information real build information and stuff that 2k has dropped themselves obviously we don't have a picture of what it looks like so i have to show i can't just have a black freaking thumbnail you know all blackout thumbnail so i'm glad most of you guys understand but anyway nfl production said question do you believe that the adrenaline boost ruined 2k23 and should they bring it back now you guys know we've talked about adrenaline before i don't care if they bring it back to 2k24 it just depends on if that's what the game needs so in my opinion 2k23 needed adrenaline boost because that's how the game was created you guys know how you're able to speed boost out of the same hand and you can speed boost out of the same hand again without doing any dribble moves you know like that's kind of op so imagine if there was no adrenaline boost you'd just be able to run out the same hand run out the same hand over and over and over and then you'd be able to you know left riding would be worse probably in 23 than in 22 so i think that it was needed for 2k23 but it doesn't necessarily mean it was neat it's needed for 2k24 now because you guys are so awesome and you made it this far i got more build news for you so jumpman germ said nba 2k24 my career slash player builder system details will start in august on their discord they said can't talk about that just yet we'll reveal more gameplay details around nba 2k24 starting in august keep an eye on the 2k news and make sure you select all news blah blah blah, blah. so what's interesting is as you guys seen in the beginning we've already got some 2k24 builder news which i don't believe we had last year now that was only for last gen but we do have some information on that so when that comes out the next gen and all that type of stuff you guys know where it will be on this channel so hit that subscribe button turn on notifications click this video right here there's only one video on the screen for you to watch it's about 2k20 news that you may have missed click this video bro it's your boy batch plug you've been plugged in thank you guys for making this far make sure to enter in the giveaway click this video bro click it and i'm out peace